Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my grow bench, the beginner's corner, learning with me, the beginner. Today will be a very basic watering and a general inspection of these three orchid roots. Uh, this is an idea of, well, idea, um, the, know your roots. Th there we go. That's, that's basic 101. Um, these two white ones my mom grabbed for me on sale at the Harris Teeters. Um, they were $4.95 to steal. This other one, uh, this purple one, was my brother, excuse me, was one that my brother bought for me and on Mother's Day. <laughs> the blooms have already fallen and the spike is slowly dying. Here is a good look at the whole orchid rather than me awkwardly maneuvering it around, um, giving a general up close zoom in look. The blooms were kind of roughed up, I'm sure, in transit and at the store. At a glance, the orchids look good uh, based on their leaves. Um, if I if I was someone that didn't know any better, just wanting to purchase a flower. Um, these blooms look bad and that's why they are obviously on sale because that's not appealing to the customer. A lot of times these uh, grocery stores have you already set up for failure and that's understandable because they're in the business of making money. Anyway, I digress. The, the key thing to look for when purchasing an orchid is the roots and leaves. One thing to mention is pests. There's all kinds of pests that can come home with you on any plant uh, for that matter. It's a good idea to quarantine them or yeah, them from your collection um, just for a few months just to um, see if there's anything crawling around or uh, of that nature. However, I forgot to mention these air roots look kind of shriveled and the leaves are looking a tad limp, but this definitely means um, they're due for a serious drink. Um, it's important to not overwater or you guess it. You're gonna have a bad time. And what are growing orchids about? Having a good time. Exactly. Okay. So I used I used to fawn over my orchids too much, and either they die or try to die really hard. Um, but as you learn more and kill enough orchids, you'll start to figure it out. Um, I'm sure as a beginner looking up any video and clicking on one right after the other and then clicking off another telling everyone telling you the same thing um, I hope you can take something from my video and this was very basic to me and something I made so much more complicated um, and I think newbies right off the bat also get it wrong as you can see, these roots are pretty skinty and silvery. This indicates water me, water me now. And she's in bark media, which can mean more waterings as opposed to orchids and moss. But if you're not careful and you leave them soggy in the de decorative pot, they will most definitely get root rot and I lost quite a few doing that. My mom always had her orchids for a few years at a time until I inherited them because she really never stressed about them like I did. They'd bloom and spike on schedule without any repotting or fertilizers. It, it just she just let it happen and not forced it. 
Uh, I try to channel that mentality kind of like with cats. They don't need much. You just give them their water and their food and a little bit of attention and they're good to go. The roots down in the pot look good at a glance. Um, I found a little fuzz ball um, that I thought might be mold, but thankfully it wasn't. I meant to keep my phone out of the frame, but I like to zone out and watch TV on my phone <laughs> and do a voiceover later when I'm done. I'm not a walk and chew bubblegum kind of girl. So I've picked out any debris and inspected it for critters and it's all clear. Um, if up close you can see there are green patches, you know, with the little white dots uh, along the root, which as a side note, fun fact, is the outer covering called velamen. I'm not going to clip any of these air roots off. Um, I'm just going to leave well enough alone. So I keep telling everybody uh, they're not hurting anything. Um, at the base or the axis, I notice some black stuff um, outlines, which always make me nervous. Black mold is, I just have some flashbacks because I've got some serious stuff that had happened. Sometimes it's nothing, but sometimes it's something. So just keep an eye out. Bark media is pretty straightforward, but if you see some white fuzz when you take the orchid out of its decorative pot, you have some snow mold. And I have this condensation in these air pockets around the bark media, and, and that's a good candidate. That's a good uh playground for the mold to start um, of course mold can grow anywhere if it's dark and wet i can't stress enough about root rot nine times out of ten if there's mold there's rot right behind it as you can see here i have a black soggy root as for repotting that's a whole other topic for a different discussion and there's a lot of schools of thought I'm okay with the bark and so I'm just gonna keep an eye on this one I've had it for about three months and so I'm just gonna hold what I got the next step with these three orchids will be deciding on a fertilizer if I'm going to tie up all three or do individually organic or inorganic that is the question on to the next one this is this is actually the one that I've had since Mother's Day my bad um, in realizing this I'm surprised to see no moisture in this one the last one must have been watered before it left the store which is still curious to me because it's been about a week or two since I've gotten it I've blabbed enough. Stick around for my next video. I'll be watering these babies. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you tomorrow.